You know, one of the things that makes Chicago like so fun and cool to actually skate is that it's always been real low key, you know what I mean? If you do show up at the spot or if a new spot happens, like everyone's not fighting to try to like get the first photo or anything like that, it's, it's just super chill. Yeah, it was like 1995. So Picasso was like our love park, I guess you could say, you know, like that was our spot. And back then people didn't really care. Like Saturdays and Sundays, you'd find, you know, 30, 40 kids sometimes hanging out, just skating all day. And one day Josh just comes rolling up in these salt and pepper black and white shell toes and tray flips up the Picasso base. Like, who the fuck is this guy, you know? He turned out to be super cool dude, obviously right off the bat, but that was back in the day when he would have his hat like this, you know? In Chicago, this means something, you know, and he had no idea what it meant. You know, if I was crossing Division Street and I was wearing DC, you know what I mean? Like, dudes would come up and they'd just be like, yo, you disciple Crip and all this shit, and they'd check you and you'd have to give them your jackets. And I mean, you know, then also the cops in Chicago were different than everywhere else. I mean, they had a cop, nicknamed the Terminator. And I mean, and it wasn't just him, but he was he was the worst. But I mean, these guys would chase you through the entire city, full speed. When I first moved to Chicago, there really wasn't a show. And it wasn't until I left for a few years. And when I came back, Uprise was there, you know? And Uprise was below a loft and, you know, the badass dudes in Chicago lived in the loft, you know, it was like Jesse Newhouse and these guys. One of the rooms opened up in the loft, so I actually rented a room in that loft for, I don't know, three to five years maybe. And then it was literally every day. Wake up, breakfast burrito, uprise, watch a video, shoot the shit with the homies, and then boom, straight downtown. I remember the first uprise video, and I remember being like, damn, I kind of wish I was a part of that, you know? But it was during the time that I was gone. They were talking about filming a new Uprise video and I was here, it was summertime. And it was just like, yeah, I'm down, like, you know. There might have been a couple tricks here and there that I've used for, you know, other projects like DC video or something like that. But, um, you know, I always wanted to leave my Chicago footage with Chicago, you know what I mean? I don't know, I grew up with a certain level of like respect for things that I really like, you know what I mean? And I really like my friends in Chicago and I really like the city. I really like the skate shop. I like the people I skated with and filmed with. And so, you know, I never would consider myself, you know, like any type of trendsetter or anything like that. But these guys were in my eyes. So for me, I just really want to be a part of something that they're doing, you know what I mean? Uprise was always like, you know, real important to me because they're like my peers, you know? I mean, there's no question that they're gonna be here for 20 plus years. I mean, it's a super rad skate shop, ran and owned by some super rad people, you know what I mean? And I'm glad I got to be a part of, you know, a, a nice sized chunk of that, you know what I mean? Love those guys.